Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty. By now, you have heard of the news involving Danny Lee and the baby, with them both splashing all of their information on social media for the world to see. This has been a very unfortunate turn of events for both parties because it does not make either look very good. But I want to give you a little twist to this here because if you can remember a while back, Danny Lee posted a video and made a song that has really come back to bite her in the butt. This is about privilege that she thought she had and she was rudely shown that she does not. Do you remember this? So Yellow Bone is supposedly what he wants. Well, apparently Danny Lee is not. I mean, that song right there is proof that you need to be very careful about what you put out there in the universe. Because it came back. I mean, you look very foolish with a song like that. See, Danny Lee went into this relationship like a lot of fair-skinned, light-skinned people do, not all, and thinking that somehow this light skin is going to grant her some type of privilege. But in many cases, that is not the case. She made that song as a diss to his other baby mama. And, you know, to try to get under her skin, to make her jealous, maybe to kind of chase her away. But it didn't happen because the baby continued to see her and Danny Lee simultaneously. So apparently he was going back and forth between both of them. So he did not choose the yellow bone girl. And not only did he not choose the yellow bone girl, he embarrassed the hell out of her on live. Watch this. My girl, I ain't never been my girl. Is my side. Is your what? My is side. Your... Is a certified side. Not, not my. Embarrassing like that. Shorty is a certified side. Oh, Just trying to act like she awesome. Now, let, let's no, take it up. There's no she my side. Everybody knows she's a side. Oh my God. She don't want y'all to know she's a side. She got the same face. She got to crash all the way out. So all along. Danny Lee was pretty much his side piece, his side chick. He called her side B. She was not elevated any more higher than his other baby mama, who was darker skinned. And Danny Lee must have thought that with this light skin privilege that she thought she had, that she would be his number one girl. But that didn't happen, and it's not going to happen. And I predict that the baby's probably going to end up with someone who is of darker tone. But, you know, Danny Lee found out the hard way that this so-called mythology, and I do believe that it is a myth that is believed by black people, perpetrated by black people, of light skin privilege. See, to understand light skin privilege, and I have done many videos about that particular topic, it does pertain to women more so than men, a lot more so, but not in every single case right here. In this particular case right here, he did not give a damn about her being yellow bone. 
He did not give a damn about her being light-skinned. And they ended up having a baby together. Beautiful baby. But Danny Lee did not come out on top as she thought she would because she's yellow-boned. And this must be very traumatic to her because with a lot of light-skinned people who believe that they do have this light-skinned privilege, when they are slapped in the face with the realization that, no, you do not, it must be traumatizing because it's a belief system that is shaken. And when that belief system is shaken, what do you have to fall back on? See, light skin privilege is kind of there, but it's not there. And what I previously said, it's more so there for women, not so for men. And it's more so there only within the black community. However, in this day and age, um, it doesn't really have that much an advantage. See, as I stated before, it was more so for women than men. But today's females, today's women, they got their own shit going. Women do not need men as much as they did in the past. What I mean by that, I'm simply saying that women are educated. They got their own careers, starting their own businesses. So the whole light skin privilege thing was evolving around light skinned women being preferred over, let's say, darker skin counterparts. In a sense of that, it would have accounted for them or would have been a leeway to being having an easier life based upon the men who chose them. But because women are educated now, getting their own businesses now, it's not like it was in, let's say, the 80s and... um before, where that would have been a great advantage, so to speak. So here's a dark-skinned man. He did not choose this light-skinned female. He chose her pretty much as a rag doll, something he can get off on. She's a baby mama now. And she would have done a lot better had she would not have had the baby. I think it would have given her um, more value, so to speak, I'm not saying that women who have children are devalued. It's just kind of depending on who you are dealing with. In this particular case right here, and I've seen cases like this before, women would think that once they have a baby, they can trap a man, or he's going to think and behave differently. They end up getting a rude awakening. He goes the opposite direction to the point where he becomes even more disrespectful of her. And that's what Danny Lee found out. So Danny Lee found out the hard way that yellow bone is not really what he wants. Apparently he wants something else. He wants something different, but it's not her. It is definitely not a yellow bone that he wants. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, that is another edition of Seeing Beyond and Through with Monty, and I will see you beyond and through.